Okay, I've refilmed the intro. I had a completely different intro than this, but this is the new intro. This video is 40 fucking minutes long. Watch it at 1.25 speed. I'm giving you a heads up now. Then that way you won't fucking hate me by the end of it saying I've wasted 41 minutes of my life. So put it to 1.25 speed. Don't put it at 1.5 speed because you won't be able to fucking understand what I'm saying. Not that you listen anyway. It's going to do something weird. Is it going to do something weird? Well, we'll see if it's done something weird. Hey, hey, Grubgun here. Look, I'm back, and I've managed to get the fucking Microsoft Life Cam fucking working again. It had... I fucked around. I, I erased the fucking drivers and everything from the computer and then reinstalled them. But still, I'm really skeptical that this thing's going to fucking work. I know it's recording now because I see numbers fucking at the bottom of the screen, and I've done like ten tests. But it seems to still be shitting the bed quite uh, quite efficiently. But I think to, to sum it up in a very short and concise way, I can honestly say right now, I'm back, everyone. Look, it's Grub Gun. Oh, look at this. Yay. Look, everyone. Another video featuring this thing sitting here talking to you about things only today. I won't be talking to you about things. No, I will be talking to you about things, but it's not going to be my usual fucking what I've been playing and shit like that. I'm playing catch-up, and I'm not talking about catsup, the lovely tomato-based sauce that we all enjoy. I'm talking catch-up. I've got a stack of fucking Xbox, original Xbox games here, that I seriously have not shown in probably, we're talking ten months. Because this bastard is a lazy fucking bastard. And uh, I just haven't done it. Because, first of all, I kind of like the pickup thing, you know, is like, I've done it. You know what I'm saying? I've done it. It's been done. You don't want to see the fucking things I go out and buy. Seriously, you don't. I mean, what, what, I, like I always say, it's the same shit you have fucking access to yourself. You don't need me to show you things that I've bought. And just hold up and fucking tell you what it is. I try and add a little bit of, uh, you know, my a little a little bit of flavor. A little grub gun flavor. And uh, that's what I, you know, I hope to make a little bit different than just the usual pickup video. And I'm not going to tell you, oh, it's been a great week here at Grubkin Palace. <laughs> hey, yo! I'm not going to do that, because this is all fucking business. And the reason why I'm doing this, I'm fucking... Catkin's gone for five days. She's at her parents' house on Vancouver Island. And I didn't go. And, and I'm here all by myself, so it's a lonely fucking house. So I'm upset. I'm sitting here without my better half, literally, a better three quarters. If I... I, I my contribution, if it if it adds up to a quarter, is fucking. That's fucking. I'm still exaggerating it. And she's gone. I'm just sitting here. What the fuck? So here it comes. I'm I'm filming this. I don't know when I'm gonna show it. I don't know when I'm gonna show it. I might upload it now. I might not upload it now. I might upload it and fucking put it to put it to private, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, boom! There it is. There's a video showing a bunch of Xbox games. 
And it, this is my Xbox extravaganza. And I'll put like a, uh, what do you call it? Some kind of text across the screen there. Xbox extravaganza. Oh, I bet you're fucking just. I'll, I'll have to wait a minute because you're all, everyone's lubing up. Oh, Xbox extravaganza. But seriously, I got to get rid of this shit. I, I, I've got to fucking clean up my shelves. And the only way I can do this is to clean off my fucking pickups shelf. And uh, I'm doing that now. So let's commence with the Xbox extravaganza. All right. So, hey, everyone. Uh, these are some Xbox games that I've bought over the last fucking 10 months or longer. And uh, I'm going to show them to you. Uh, some of them I've tried. Some of them I haven't. And I'm going to give you a little bit of grub gun flavor. Add it in. And get out your grub gun scratch and sniff cards. Because this is one of the times when you'll be using them. You know, it'll be. I'll put the little number up in the corner. And it'll say, you know, seven. And you'll scratch the card. Ooh, seven. And, you know, you'll smell like pennies or fucking, you know, a wet chamois leather, and it'll be like, oh yeah, that's what's happening there. Now I'm experiencing what's happening there in 4D. So yeah, or put on your VR helmet and, you know, oh, Xbox titles. Oh, in 3D. Okay. Here, here they come. So I keep finding these fucking games. And every time I find them, I buy them. I've got, like, fucking six of them. And long story short, or at this point, we're at six minutes in, I haven't showed anything. <laughs> so long story turned into a longer story. Uh, I was going to buy these once, and I was like, well, I'm not really into the subject matter, and I don't really like role-playing games, so I'm not going to pick them up. And then, of course, fucking a month later, everyone's telling me, these are awesome games, man. You should pick them up. And so, of course, I feel like a fucking dunce because I fucking walked away from them. But now, ever since then, I've seen them, like, fucking 15 times. There must be a billion of these fucking things. And that's Nice of the Old Republic 1 and 2. So these are another couple that I bought. I think I paid, like, three bucks each for them. And there are two more, and they're sitting... No? No to focusing, I guess? Is that going to happen? Amazing. So yeah, KOTOR. Um, uh, you know, KOTOR. Both of them, one and two. Never played them, haven't played them yet. Apparently they're spectacular, but what the fuck, dude? I don't really care that much for Star Wars. And, uh, you know, one day I'll play them or not. I just love me some Xbox games. I don't know whether it's the green box or the fact that they're cool or I don't know man but still it's it's part of the thing where like you can't kill the collector in me I just I want Xbox games but so I got those I've got like six fucking copies of them it's just it's it's this place is lousy with KOTOR but so those are two of them this is, this is tip of the iceberg guys tip of the fucking iceberg and these aren't shitty games that I've got some of them are shitty but I mean some of them are pretty good I mean, you be the judge. But, of course, I'll be the judge whether your judgment is actually valid. So, really, eh, you know, scales of justice. Here we go. Now, everyone knows how much of a gangsta I am. I mean, <laughs> you guys, you're all fucking over this gangsta fucking... You know what I mean? I got a fucking... I, I put a fucking stone in my, in my shoe so I walk with that fucking gangsta limp and shit. You know what it's like. I just can't help it. You know what I mean? I was born that way. I can't help it. So when I saw this game, I was like, yeah, I'm all up in that, bitch. It's Crime Life Gang Wars. Is this going to... I want this to focus. Seriously, guys. I mean, like, it's as bright as the fucking surface of the sun here. Look. It's right there, camera. No? Well, there we go, look. Crime Life Gang Wars. So one of these guys is me here. It's just completely blurry. I mean, fucking stupid camera. Why don't you shit the bed a little more, guys? 
It's as bright as the fucking sun in here. Do I have to just wait this one out? Seriously? Like, do I have to put face recognition fucking software on the fucking camera for me to... Oh, this is the best camera ever, guys. Seriously. It was... There we go. Look at that. So, yeah. I'll just sit way back. You can zoom in. Crime Life Gang Wars. And it says, fight to survive. Fight for respect. Now, I mean, of course, I that's all I get is respect. And so I don't have to fight for it. But it'd be nice to, like, put myself in someone else's shoes and think, what's it like to be, you know, a fucking greenhorn fucking gangsta who needs to build his way up in the ranks? Oh, I'll find out. I bought this so long ago, dude. It was, like, last fucking year. Uh, it was a year ago I bought this fucking bitch. But seriously, Crime Life Gang Wars fucking doesn't look that bad, right? Am I right? I am right. Here's another one I picked up. Ooh. Uh, you know, some say that I, I'm like a clairvoyant. You know what I mean? You know, I've got a fifth sense, almost. But uh, it'd be nice also to have second sight. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what this is. Boasts an array of special effects that wouldn't look out of place in a movie. <laughs> Much like this, you know, this, the quality of this, you're thinking, dude, grub, for fuck's sakes, dude, stop getting industrial light and magic to do your videos, dude, Get, use some of that budget on something else, like a new fucking tube or something, you know, or one of those Star Trek V Shatner corsets that, you know, I desperately need, you know, but no, instead, you know, I'm, it's this kind of big budget shit that you're going for. But Second Sight, I think I have this on some other console. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not going to check. So, bam, here's another one. It's going on the shelf. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Fucking, it, it doesn't matter if these games are fucking any good or not. And it, what I say about them doesn't matter. The reason why I'm showing them to you is because they're fucking sitting there doing nothing. And I want them on the shelf. So this is for my, this is for me. It's not really for you. It's a record of my achievements. Pick this up. Uh, it's not really a game, but uh, I don't give a fuck, dude. Uh, it's part of a game, and it's part of a game that I really liked. It's Fable Limited Edition Bonus DVD. Uh, yeah, so... Apparently, there's uh, great ribald tales with Peter Molyneux in it. So, I mean, line up for that. But, yeah, I didn't... Uh, I'd never seen this before, and so I thought fucking limited edition bonus DVD. I'm all for that. Am I going to watch it? Maybe. Have I watched it? No. Am I doing this for you? No. Am I doing it for me? Yes. Um, includes exclusive behind-the-scenes documentary. So, fuck. Google Earth that. Grab this. A long time ago, can't even remember when. It's the first. I, I loved playing the second one. The second game of this is uh, lots of fun. And this is the first one. It, look, it's Project Gotham Racing. I got Project Gotham 2, which is a really fun game. Awesome racing game. Very competently fucking made racing game. I haven't tried the first one yet, but when I saw it, I was like, ho-ho, oh, Jeremy, you gotta fucking buy that because, you know, you like fucking green boxes or something. I'm not sure what it is. You're fucked up in the head. Why don't you just buy it? It's like three bucks. And I was like, yeah, okay, don't fucking push me. You know, I'm gonna buy it anyway. And I was like, yeah, sure you are. Bullshit. Why don't you fucking buy it? Come on. You know, I know how much you like the first, the second one. Why don't you buy the first one? I was like, lay off. So I bought it anyway just to shut the guy up. But yeah, Project Gotham Racing. And look, it's only on Xbox. Wow. Holy shit. The fucking mind boggles. Here's another one. And uh, I know how this game feels. Because uh, I've always been a pariah. Am I right? Or am I right? Up top. No? Fuck off. It says, can you survive? 
That's a rhetorical question. Because you are Jack Mason. So, I guess that's this guy here. Good old Jack Mason. I don't know what this game is. It looks like some kind of a shooting people game. And, jeez, I don't know what this game is. New twist on classic multiplayer action. <clears throat> Who'd have thunk it? Pariah. Picked it up. Looks neat. The spine is nice. And that's the only part I'm going to fucking be looking at. <laughs> oh, let the zaniness prevail for 15 minutes. Now, of course, we all know how big of a gangster I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, put the stone in my shoe to get the gangster limp. That's me. That's this person that you're looking at now. That's why I got this. 50 cent bulletproof. I mean, really, like, it should be like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, that could be the screenshot. But, um, yeah. I mean, the ultimate 50 cent experiment, experience, his music, his videos, his game. Am I right? Not a clue what that is. I think it's probably some fucking... They gave him money to put his face in the game, probably. probably shit. Here's another one. Ho ho, what have we here? Here's another game. Fuck it. Um. Oh god, really? Is this even a thing? This is another game that's two. Two. Two games in one. It's Spy Hunter. Because it says right here, which I'm not going to hold up to the camera. Oh, yeah, there you go. Fucking read that, twats. It says, uh, original arcade spy hunter included. How do they do it? How do they fit two games on this disc? Which is, of course, here. And as you see, it's boxed and complete. Yeah, look, it's Spy Hunter. Ooh, isn't that the game where you drive in the car and you got a gun and you... Hit the oil slick and shit. I don't know because, yeah, it is. It looks like it is on the back. And, you know, you drive up the back into the ramp and you, maybe you turn into a boat or some fucking thing. Who knows? Spy Hunter. It's here. It's in my collection now. It's going on the shelf. It's not sitting on the fucking shelf of things I bought. It's sitting on the other shelf of things I bought. Here's a game. And, uh, now I don't endorse this activity at all. So, you know, seriously, if, if anyone says that I do endorse this activity... Um, they'd be lying. And that's, uh, it's saying that this game is stolen. Now, I've never stolen anything in my life. And I certainly didn't steal this game. Infiltrate, Steal, and Vanish. Don't know anything about that. I don't steal anything. You know, I'm a good guy. That's the thing. I try to lead by example. And, you know, sure, GameCube uh, and PlayStation and PlayStation 2 memory cards are really small. You know, and if you put them in the palm of your hand like that, no one's going to see them if you walk out of the store. But I don't endorse that activity. And the fact that I have possibly two dozen... PlayStation, PlayStation 2, and GameCube memory cards is a complete coincidence. It has nothing to do with the fitting in the palm of my hand. It's an unrelated event. But stolen. I don't know what it is. It looked neat. The box was in good shape. Stolen. I like the green thing. And nice inside with the thing and I got it so stolen who cares if you tell me if it's good tell me if it's bad it's basically arbitrary what's this what is this that I have in my head now it's zaniness in a fucking game format it's big mother truckers 2 I think I have big mother truckers 1 on the PS2 but who knows? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I'm not going to get up and go and check. Because it's fucking, it doesn't matter. 
Big Mother Truckers 2. Pick this up, I believe, in Port Coquitlam at a value village, if memory serves. Uh, and uh, there's probably all kinds of wild hijinks and, and uh, zany adventures and possibly misadventures as well in this. And it's, you know, it's probably quite a fucking sufficient game to play, but will I find out? Time will tell. Looks fun, anyway. And there's a chick, there's boobs on it. What can I say? There's boobs! That's why I fucking bought it. It's boobs. Got a boob fucking thing, you know what I'm saying? Who doesn't? Here's a game I got. And I bought it. And, uh... I, uh, I did like, uh, I've never really, oh, fuck off, what am I trying to say? I liked my, me some wrestling when I was younger. I still kind of like wrestling. I don't really watch a lot of it, but, you know, I like wrestling, you know? And I liked wrestling back in the days when it was raw. Am I right? You got fucking Triple H. There's Kane. That's probably... That could be anybody getting fucking choke slammed by Kane. That's fucking one of the Hardy Boys. And there's the Undertaker when he had his stupid biker gimmick. I fucking hated that. What were, what were they thinking? Dead man walking. Ooh. Bullshit, dude. He's the fucking Undertaker. So, yeah. Play as all the top superstars. I hope they have X Pac in here because he's my favorite wrestler. X-Pac. Uh, martial arts expert X-Pac. But yeah. That could be, that could be anybody that's getting jokes loud. By Kane. Probably test. But anyway. Fucking raw. It's all in there. Haven't played it yet. Will I? Maybe. Who knows? Looks good. It's going to look better over there. It, it was there. Now it's going to be there. That's why I'm making this video. Because I'm moving the things from there to fucking there. I hope you're happy about it. Here's one. That looks fucking diabolical, I have to admit. Oh, great. Oh, Jesus. It just got worse. It's Mace Griffin Bounty Hunter. Now I was thinking, well, you know, it's, it, looks, it looks okay on the back. Then I saw featuring Henry Rollins as the voice of Mace Griffin. Henry Watt Rollins. Oh, everybody's favorite angry-looking dude. Fuck off. Seriously. You know, why doesn't he stick to what he does best? Spoken word poetry? Who knows what that, what the fuck? It doesn't matter. Mace Griffin Bounty Hunter, I found it. It was a couple bucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck off. It's, it's here it is. Why these games, like, always look like no one's played them, I'll never know. Because, you know, God knows, someone was sitting there fucking just playing the shit out of this one. Oh, Henry Rollins, your voice acting talent is fucking amazing. I wish I could marry you and listen to your spoken word poetry? Fuck off. Stop looking so angry, too. I mean, seriously, you probably have a fucking awesome bank account from your spoken word poetry? Ooh. Pick this one up. I uh, don't know what it is. Well, I do know what it is. It's Toe Jam and Earl 3 Mission to Earth. Don't know what it is. It's got some blue boobs on the front. Well, I probably why I picked it up. Uh, don't know how... Uh, apparently it's harder to come by than other ones. Don't know. Paid like three bucks for it, so... Wee! Look! Toe Jam and Earl 3 from my favorite series ever! Never played any of them. And this is the third one that I have never played. Or maybe it's the first one I've never played. It doesn't matter. I haven't played any of them. So, wee! So it's gone to the top of the stack of the uh, never played it before Jenga pile. Toejam and Earl 3. What's it about? Who knows? It's got blue boobs on it. Hey, who doesn't like a blue boob? Got this one a few months ago, I guess. Don't know what it is, but I, it, apparently you saved the world from total annihilation. 
action-packed sci-fi storyline inspired by modern-day anime. Gun Valkyrie? Don't know. It's got some boobs on it and a bum. So boobs and bum. It's got the whole package, basically. And, uh... So, yeah, it looks like something... I don't even know what kind of game it is. Play as Kelly O'Lenmi. The gun-toting heroine. <laughs> Fuck off. Here's another one. Don't know what it is. Kind of had a neat cover, and that's why I bought it. Because it had a neat cover. Sometimes I do that. You know, I'm not fucking perfect, even though I'm yelling at you... Because you just sit there and fucking wank off to your shelves. You know, it doesn't mean I'm perfect. It doesn't mean I don't sit there sometimes and be like, well, that Xbox collection is pretty nice, you know. The <laughs> but you, just, you know what I'm saying? Breakdown. Breakdown. Look at the cover. It looks neat. There's a guy. He's got a problem. He's got his stress ball in his hand and he's freaking out. Look, he's got veins and... Compelling military slash science fiction storyline will turn players upside down. So, who wouldn't? You know what I'm saying? As I used to say all the time, who wouldn't? Well, I did and I have. So, breakdown. Fuck you guys. Here's another one. Pick this one up. Don't know if this... It's based on the popular franchise of this, and it's something I picked up because I figured it was something that would look good on the shelf. Fucking who cares? It's Dino Crisis 3. Don't know what Dino Crisis is, but <laughs> there's three of them. And uh, I've got number three. So add this to the pile of excitement because uh, witness the re-evolution of Dino Crisis in Dino Crisis 3. More than 500 years in the future, on a spaceship named Ozymandias, you and your partners, etc. Read the rest of it yourself. Dino Crisis 3. Capcom. You know, they've never done anything bad. I think they make spoken word poetry games. Pick that up. It's in my collection. It's going from there to over there. That's the, why I'm making the video. Well, that and I'm fucking just sitting here bored and lonely because Katkin's not here. If she was here, she'd be fucking throwing in her zany fucking quips and shit like that. Instead, it's just me. I gotta fill the fucking gap myself. This is bullshit, dude. Seriously. Here's another game I got. and I was looking for this for quite some time, but I don't know why because apparently it's shitty. It's Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. Enter the heart of the dragon, it says on the back. Looks great. Anyway, I picked it up. It fucking looks nice. You know what I mean? I was looking for it. Will I play it? I don't know. But it's here if I want to. You know what I'm saying? Indiana Jones. Who doesn't like Indiana Jones? Oh, that zany archaeologist. Is that what he is? I don't know. Here's another one. Now, I don't know what this is, but uh, I like the cover. And sometimes you gotta just do that. You know what I'm saying? It's Dark Watch. Dark Watch. There's a few jokes I can make there. I'm not gonna make them. Dark Watch, everyone. It's got this guy on the front. See, that's it's like The Undertaker, you know. Is this guy a biker? No, he looks like some kind of a fucking weird, mean-looking dude with a big-brimmed hat. Let's turn him into a biker in the next game because, you know, that's the best thing. Change a fucking good gimmick into a shit gimmick. Uh, death fears those who wear the badge. He's got a badge. Dark Watch. I don't know. Fuck is. Are there more Dark Watch games? Is it the series? Is it? Is, are there? Is it, is this one good? I don't know. Tell me, because I'm probably not going to find out unless you tell me. Now this game, I got this 
when I got my first Xbox. And Katkin played it and completed it. And she really liked it. And it's a very pretty game. So when I saw it, I thought, hey, boobs, it's Sudeki. Picked it up again, now it's back in the collection. And it's moving from there. I don't know if I've pointed this out to you. It's moving from there to over there. Sudeki. Yeah, it was really fun. It's good dialogue. It's a fun game. Uh, you can switch characters and shit like that, I think. I can't remember, but it's a very pretty game. And, uh, but oops, did I say that already? Probably not, because I usually don't talk about boobs. But anyway, Sudeki looks great on the shelf, which is where it's going. Here's another one. It's got a three in it. It's got a three in it, and it's got zombies in it. And it's a light gun game. Any guesses on what it is? <laughs> I've got all day. Any guesses? I got all day. I'm not doing anything. It's House of the Dead 3. Light gun supported. And I have two fucking Xbox light guns. I don't have a CRT TV because that would be nuts. But uh, House of the Dead 3. Why did I buy it? Because I think it was because I knew it was worth something. And it's got zombies, and it's light gun supported, and I knew it was worth something, and I think I only paid a couple bucks for it. Look good on the shelf, though, won't it? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Ooh, House of the Dead 3. That's a good game on my shelf. Ooh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you do. Wank into the shelf. That's what this is. It's wank material. It's fucking... You look on the shelf, and you're like, ooh, I'm going to look that up on eBay. Oh, look, last one sold for $22. $22. Yeah, and I only paid like three bucks for it, so. <laughs> oh, look at. Oh, how fortunate I am. Doesn't matter. It's going on the shelf. Over there. Here's another one with zombies in it. Who doesn't like zombies? Put up your hand. Even though nowadays there's just. Zombies are played out. You know what I mean? But uh, prepare for the horror of Land of the Dead, Road to Fiddler's Green, based on the George A. Romero film. Now this, this game looks bad. Bad. It's got the color palette of, like, fucking butterscotch pudding. You know what I'm saying? It looks bad, dude. The people who worked on this, this is cash grab fucking central right here. But, you know, I picked it up because... That was on it, and this was on it, and this was on it, and it was there was a price tag on it that was like two ninety nine or something. So I picked it up, two ninety nine. Who's not gonna pick it up? Seriously, I'm not gonna buy that. I heard it was a bad game. I'm gonna let some fucking reseller fucking pick it up and sell it for fucking fifty bucks on or twenty five bucks or something. Instead, why doesn't fucking Jeremy buy it? Bring it home and fucking stare at it on the shelf. Ooh, look at that spine. Oh, <laughs> kind of creepy, but accurate. Now here's a game I was looking for for a while. Seriously, I played this game when I was a kid. Look at that bad scratch on my arm. What do I get up to? Uh, looking for this game for quite some time. Uh, it's I played it actually on the PC. Imagine that. This guy playing a PC game? Oh, oh, I know what you're saying. Bullshit. Well, no, I did. And now it's been... Uh, it's time to set a course for adventure. Who am I kidding? It's Sid Meier's Pirates. Fuck it. Who wouldn't? You know what I mean? Looks neat. Paid a couple bucks for it, literally. And it was funny. I was looking for this game for forever. Like, you know, always trying to find it, always trying to find it. Never found it. I found this copy, and then after that, I saw two other fucking copies in stores. So when it rains, it pours, guys. I should have bought all three and made like a triangle out of them and stuck my bird in the fucking hole right in the middle. I had fucking sex with it. That's what I should have done. But I didn't. I only bought the one. So Sid Meier's Pirates. Fuck it. Who wouldn't? You know what I mean? Will I play it? Well, maybe in my spare time. I don't know. But I bought it anyway. So fuck it. Good stuff. Here's another game. 
Now, I know this is not that great of a game, and once again, it's got the color palette of fucking butterscotch pudding. But uh, I picked it up because I like the cover. Another, I just like the cover. Enclave. You know, I think this got a shovelware we release. If I'm not mistaken, I think this was on the Wii. But, uh, you know, and this one smells like it's been in Wii. So, you know what I'm saying? But still, look, and all these games, well, except for the next one, are boxed and complete. Fuck me, guys. Crazy. But yeah, Enclave. Uh, choose your path. Warrior of the Light or Minion of the Dark. Ooh, who knows? But yeah, Enclave picked it up. Good cover. Going on the shelf. Possibly wanking to it. Who knows? Picked this one up today. Couple bucks. Two bucks, in fact. And I've been looking for this for a long time. Had this again. Original Xbox. Long time ago. Me and Catkin fucking played it almost to completion, but we got kind of lost in it. And I got rid of it. And I thought, fuck, what? Jeremy, you're a fucking idiot. Why do you get rid of things? When Look, it's Mothy. Mothy the Moth. It's my pet moth. He's in the video. Look, it's because I'm all by myself and Mothy came to visit. Mothy! Mothy. It's Brotherhood of Steel. Fall Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. And like I said, I almost finished it. Never got around to it. It's two-player co-op. So now, when Catkin comes back, I'm going to be like, guess what happened while you were away? No, I didn't soil the bed. I found this so we can play it again. And it's fun. I remember killing rats and dogs in it. And I mean, a day isn't fucking complete without killing rats and dogs. Really. Brother of Steel. Now this one, uh, truth be told, you know, I'm come full disclosure here. You know, I'm not lying to you. Why would I have to lie to you? You know, you know what I mean? Like, I, I lead the glamorous life. I'm fucking telling you the truth. No manual. So, you know, I know I, I look like an idiot. Why did you buy that with no manual? You suck! It's because it was two bucks, and I'm fucking buying it for two bucks. Apparently Chad Bailey bought his for 15 and it had no fucking manual in it. So, up top, am I right? And here's the last one. Grab this for three bucks. Apparently it's a hard-to-find game, and I actually tried to play this game. And it's got the lovely color palette of butterscotch pudding. And uh, the blurriness of uh, fucking being of 18 beer. And uh, it's kind of a pricey game, and uh, but... I don't, you know, and I can see why it has its, uh, it has its, uh, you know, fans and shit like that. But the controls suck fucking shit. You run like, Mothy, come back, get in the shot. Oh, fuck. The controls suck, dude. It's, they're mushy as hell. They, they're bad. They're hard to control. It's hard to control this character. I wish it wasn't an action game and it was more of a stealthy game. But for some reason, they give you action to do and it's just impossible the camera sucks every part of it fucking except except for those the story was kind of neat but i just had to stop playing it because the control sucked call of cthulhu dark corners of the earth paid like two bucks for it tried it wasn't my cup of tea but oh boy is that gonna look good on the shelf or what <laughs> I'll have to put fucking saran wrap over the fucking shelf just to keep uh, me from fucking getting it, fucking getting my fucking, putting my seed on it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just going to be all fucking wank, fucking. So that's it. I finally showed the fucking Xbox games. I'd say I hope you're happy, but you're probably fucking not because you're never fucking happy. You're never happy, you know. You and there are people. Now here's the thing: people are gonna go. You're gonna see these games, and they're gonna think, "Well, I just got an idea about those games. Now I want them too." And people are gonna be on fucking eBay looking for some of these games because I've showed them to you. Don't fall into the trap. It's a trap. 
It's just a trap. They're just games. You'll find them eventually, or you won't. It doesn't matter. Just d don't feel stressed out that you need to improve your collection with more shit. You don't. It's not about that. You know, it's about being whole on the inside. Not, you know, having a sh full shelf to wank to. And, you know, I tell you that. It's about you as a person. It's not about what you own. That's why showing this stuff is not important because and why I put it off and put it off. Because I it's this isn't who I am. These fucking Xbox games are not who I am. Who I am is the guy who fucking fills you in on all the zany adventures here at Grubkin Palace and shows random shots of fucking hummingbirds and you know, does a two time a week a uh, live stream on a uh, fucking Pornhub. And, uh, that one I wasn't supposed to say because I am wearing uh, a prosthetic nose in that. So you really wouldn't be able to know it was me. But still, theoretically, you know, I'm that guy. I'm not my games. You aren't what you own. Just remember that. And... Just try and stay happy, you know, with what you have. And don't lament over what you don't have. It's not about what you have. It's about who you are. Magical stuff. Okay, guys. Uh, it's been a great uh, 41 minutes. Unbelievable. Watch it at one point. Two five speed. Seriously, you'll cut fucking, uh, what, ten minutes off of this, I guess, if you do it that way. But I've told you at the end to do that, so really you would have already watched 41 minutes of it, and you'd be like, fuck, I could have watched that at 1.25 speed. You're not going to watch it again, just to be like, I'll show them. So anyway, fuck off. Go fucking eat a dick. Go wank to your shelves, or go fucking play a game, you know what I mean? Like, And I encourage you to play your games. Enjoy what you have. Do not lament what you don't have. And uh, also, uh, go eat a dick and fuck off. And I will maybe record another video and put it in the queue. Who knows? Add it to the Jenga pile of exciting videos to come. This has been Grub Gun, and I am fucking signing out. Eat a dick.